Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at an awesome little microcontroller, the Wemos D1 Mini Pro. The Pro is very similar to the Wemos D1 Mini with one exception. This board, on top of having an internal antenna, it has an external Wi-Fi antenna as well via a UFL connection. To use this external antenna though, you have to modify the board, otherwise you're still using the internal onboard antenna. Today, I'll show you how to do that. We'll take a quick look at the board, and hopefully you can use this in one of your next projects. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCBWay. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. As usual, most of these boards are going to come with the headers not soldered on, so you, you're going to have to be comfortable enough to solder those on, as well as our mod coming up gets a little bit finer. Specs on this board are the same as any ASP8266 dev board, it's just the same chipset, so if you need something a bit more powerful, you may have to go to the ESP32, but for a lot of projects, this is plenty good enough. Take care when plugging in the UFL connector. They can be a little sticky and if you get rammy with it, it can be bent and broken. If you bend the pin out of position, it's really hard to put it back. With these boards, it affords us the opportunity to hook up to larger scale antennas, including ones like this one, which is a 2.4 gigahertz Yagi directional antenna. It works absolutely wonderful with them and the gains you can get are quite impressive. Okay, to the modification I mentioned. This in the center of the screen, this is a zero ohm resistor just used as a shunt on the board. It's currently shunts the one connection through to the ceramic antenna. So in my case, I'm using a hot air rework gun. You can use an iron on this just fine, but a, an air gun makes it much, much easier. So I just warm it up and take the shunt resistor off switch it around to the connection as seen here, reheat it and let it flow into place. Just like that, you're done. A little bit of alcohol to clean up the flux that I applied off the board just so it doesn't leave a sticky mess. And this is what you're left with. Should be good clean solder joints, should work just wonderful. Now keep in mind, you have to have an external antenna plugged in always from here on out, otherwise your ESP is not going to be able to talk to anything else. If you like what I'm doing here, consider joining me on Patreon or becoming a channel member down below. I really appreciate your support guys, it helps me keep making videos like this, keep sharing projects open source with everyone out there. Good luck in all your projects, I'll see you next video.